To add products to your Lightning site, go to the products list and click on add new in the top left, or go to the top right of the screen and click on the plus sign, then click on product. First thing on this page is we want to fill in any required fields, which are indicated in red. Go ahead and type in the name of a product here. The product name is the name you will use to search for this product throughout your Lightning site. The simple title is the name that will appear on client facing documents like a contract or an invoice. So if there's any difference, you're able to distinguish those there. The designation is a grouping of your inventory to help with filtering down searches throughout your site and reporting. So I'll choose audio. And then the category is a group within the designation that helps to further uh, filter down your list of products. From here, I will click save. And this created my, my new product in Lightning. Next, we wanna add anything else that could be important for uh, this product. This would include things like job settings or operational settings to adjust some uh, details that would be included on the job. We can also add pricing. This would be the pricing that is charged to the client. You can add costs. These are the costs that would be impacting your margin on a job. So the cost for renting that item compared to the price that you're renting that item for. You can also add notes for this product when it's added to a job. What are the notes you would like to display on quotes and invoices, for instance, or notes for internal or pull sheet documents that you would want your staff to see. Additionally, up across the blue bar, there are many other fields that may or may not be applicable to you that allow you for uh, further details to be added for this product, including things like suggestions and substitutions. These would come into play when you're adding a product on a job of either items that you could suggest as an add-on or maybe items that you could substitute for this product if, for instance, you didn't have uh, that product available at the time. Next thing that we wanna do for this non-serialized item is add stock to our inventory. To do that, I'm gonna click on the add stock button. From here, I'm going to put in the date on which this uh, stock gets placed into my inventory. The destination warehouse is selecting which warehouse I'm wanting to add stock to. For this case, I'll put Arizona warehouse and I'll go ahead and add 10 to my inventory. I'm gonna mark this as a purchase and then go ahead and click save. You'll see in the grid that it displays a zero in my inventory for any other warehouse, but then in my Arizona warehouse, I do have 10 available. Next thing we're going to do is create inventory for a serialized item. The difference between non-serialized and serialized items are items that have barcodes or not. For a non-serialized item like this, all we're worried about is the quantity that is going out. Say on a job, I need to send five wireless mics out and I don't care which ones get sent out, that would be a non-serialized item that I just send out five out of the 10 that I have. For serialized, you're able to store items with individual barcodes. Those individual barcodes, when you're putting a job together, you can determine which five barcodes are going to go out on that job, which allows for further reporting, maintenance, quality assurance, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert this product to serialized by clicking the serialized button here and then clicking on save. What we can see here when I create this product as serialized, 10 barcodes will auto populate for this product. If I needed to add more barcodes or more inventory, I could add a single barcode here or I could add multiple at a time. If I bought 10 more, I could add multiple and create another 10 barcodes in this sequence. Next thing we're going to do is add this product to a job. I'm going to go to a job that I already have open. I'm going to go to the products tab of this job, and then I'm going to search for the product I just put in. To add products to a job, I can either use the product search or the quick add on the right-hand side of this page. To search through my inventory, I can either type in the name of this product and use the designations, categories, and additional sort options that I just created for this product. Click on search. 
and then drag and drop to add this product to the job or click on the product and click on add selected. The other thing I can do through quick add, this would be used if I know the product right off the top of my head. Again, type in the name of the product. It comes up with what less detail, but quickly will allow you to select an item and add that product to a job. For any additional questions on adding or managing your inventory in your Lightning site, please reach out to our team. Please also remember to use our documentation that's available on any page by going to the top right of the page, clicking on the question mark, and then clicking on documentation.